allemande take half a pint of white sauce add to it half the liquor from a can of mushrooms and half a dozen of the mushrooms chopped fine let them simmer stirring all the time five minutes then remove from the fire set the saucepan into another containing boiling water have the yolks of three eggs ready beaten put a little of the sauce to them beat together then add the eggs gradually to the rest of the sauce which must be returned to the fire and stirred until the eggs begin to thicken then it must be quickly removed and stirred until slightly cool season with a saltspoonful of salt a fourth of one of pepper and strain carefully it must never be forgotten that in thickening with eggs the sauce or soup must not boil after they are added or they will curdle yet if they do not reach the boiling point they will not thicken only keen attention to the first sign of thickening will ensure success if a failure is made the first time look upon it as the first step to success for you have learned what the danger looks like make the sauce again as soon as possible so that your eye may not lose the impression it is worth considerable effort and it is really only a matter of a few minutes each time to make allemande sauce well for in doing so you also learn to make hollandaise and several choice sauces as will be seen by those that follow poulette sauce make allemande sauce as directed in the foregoing recipe add a wine glass of white wine if sweetbreads or chicken are to be cooked in the sauce as is not unusual of course the eggs must be left out until the last thing anything served with this sauce is called a la poulette sauce a la dexelle chop fine a dozen small button mushrooms or half a dozen large ones parsley and chives of each enough to make a teaspoonful when finely chopped of lean ham a tablespoonful and one small shallot fry gently in a tablespoonful of butter but do not let them brown stir these into half a pint of white sauce simmer three or four minutes then add two yolks of eggs as for allemande and the last thing a half teaspoonful of lemon juice and just enough glaze to make the sauce the shade of a pale suede glove this sauce is used cold to coat meats that have been cooked in paper and many that are afterwards to be fried in bread crumbs for which directions will be given in the entrees dishes termed a la duxelle are among the most recherche productions of the french kitchen villeroy sauce make half a pint of white sauce which as in the case of bechamel may be made of fish stock when for use with fish chop half a dozen mushrooms and add a gill of liquor to the sauce half a salt spoonful of powdered thyme or one sprig if fresh two sprigs of parsley and half a bay leaf simmer for fifteen minutes strain through a scalded cloth replace on the fire add a piece of glaze as large as a hazelnut or a tablespoonful of strong meat gravy just enough to give it the shade of the palest cafe au lait thicken with two yolks of eggs as for allemande sauce all articles served with this sauce are termed a la villeroy it differs from duxelles only in having no ham nor acidity from the lemon also all flavor of onion is omitted end of chapter two